Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. That's right, I am back here at Superior Auto Sales doing more videoing for them. They were nice enough to always let me come in here and film their cars and show you what they have. And like I always say, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you see something here, put an inquiry about it, you can go to superiorautosales.com or sascars.com. You can find them here. But this, I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. Volkswagen 1972 Volkswagen Vanagon. This is all original. This is the original paint. I seen this when I came in and I remember seeing these things when I was a kid. Yeah, you're gonna hear noise in the background. So, yep, and those guys are a little excited. But this, it looks like, okay, the front's been repainted or maybe buffed out. I'm not sure, I can't tell with this lighting. But you can see, I mean, it might've been painted. I mean, it, yeah, there's a tape line. The front end was painted, but that's okay. I mean, this tire, as you can tell, it's not original, but it'll work on here. But this thing is super, super cool. I mean, you can tell it's the original enamel paint on it. And here is the information on it. 1972 Volkswagen Vanagon. But it doesn't have the pop-up top on it. It had the air vent put in, but I don't think that was done, you know, at the factory. I think somebody else might have put that in there. But this thing, and the mileage on it, you'll be in shock because there are barely any miles on it. This is made to be plugged in for shore power, right there. I mean, all underneath this. I'm gonna get underneath here a little bit and just show you guys. I mean, yeah, it's been undercoated in that and it's been kept up tremendously. So yeah, they're making noise in here. So, all air-cooled. If you're not familiar with them, there's no radiators in them. The bumpers, I don't know if they came white. I mean, it looks like these were painted. I think back then, I think they were chrome motor that's in here not sure but i would not want to have to work on this because i'm sure it's not the easiest but still this thing is just super cool to see i mean it's it, it's a time capsule i mean it's it's crazy so I mean, I don't know if you can read that. I really can't. But I'm gonna... Well, it sounds like they got a motorcycle fired up or something. This is all still original. These cushions right here, what they go to, I have no idea. I think this, yeah, turned down into a bed. Here are some of the, the extra mirrors, I guess. If you wanted to put them on there. This is probably part of the, the bed or something that turned into a bed. It's got little cabinets, all wood. And you can see the curtains that go all the way across in there. A little storage space. And then all, this would if it's still original, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's, or it's just been put away. I mean, you can tell some of this wood is still original by even looking up at the ceiling. But the upholstery, that's all still original. Well, I'm going to show you the mileage that's on this. I mean, this thing is super, super clean. The door is huge. I mean, there is there no body work done to this. None. I mean, it is... You can hear it. It's all metal. The doors are super clean. Rubber floor so you can clean them real easy, no carpeting. But I'm gonna get in this. Stick shift, of course. But I'm gonna get my phone out here so I can get the light going on it and show you the mileage that's on this. You can see this. Oh, let me get the camera in there. 18,941 miles. That is original and it is documented, so it is the original mileage that's on it. You know, 
little speaker down there. All the switches. I mean, they, back then they kept it really simple. It still had the factory radio in it, which is cool that somebody kept that. I mean, obviously somebody put this in here did not come in here factory. They did some little things. So, shows you the gear ratio on it. Even though it's an aftermarket radio, but it's still an old aftermarket tape deck. And if I'm... Oh, good lord. The old school, you guys will... If you guys are at least in your 40s, you'll recognize these. The shuttle radios. Oh, this is the... They made them like this, so that way you could carry them with you. and Nobody could steal it. You just pulled it out. And you brought it into your house so nobody could break into your vehicle. And there wouldn't be a radio there to take. But... I mean, all the, the simple switches. I mean, it's just really neat to see the old radio. That's yeah, the glove box. And it still has some of the old parts, you know, that are new. Well, old stock, I guess you want to call it. Old, new stock. That comes with it. I mean, this thing is absolutely in incredible shape. I mean, it's just super cool to see one of these. I haven't seen one of these... Or been inside of one since I was a kid. Going around the other side here. Oh yeah, I mean, manual windows, manual door locks. Okay, it's got an air horn up there. I don't think that came with it. The lights up there, maybe, not sure. But this thing is just super, super clean. I mean, all, all metal. I mean, it's all original. I mean, the doors are super, super clean. The windows, all oh, these roll down so easy. Really isn't much to them. And then you got your little side window that would, you could push them out or pull them in. I don't want to break this, but. No, I'm not going to try and do that because no my luck, I'll manhandle it and accidentally break it, and I don't want to do that. But then I'm going to show you the back. This, the door just opens that easy by itself. It's like spring-loaded. And this is where it gets kind of cool. It comes with the sink. And this is how they built them back then, the Vanigans. Old-school sink. And there's some gum. I don't recommend eating it. I'm trying to do all this one-handed. Your little water pump. And then you got your little refrigerator. This, you got to kind of whoop, pull on it a little bit. And get this cardboard out of the way because somebody had it on the floor. So this way nobody would screw up the floor. I mean, this is a really old refrigerator little shelf that comes out I mean it's just it's just so neat to see all this got a little cover right this is the part I thought was funny it comes with a can opener and for you younger people yes this is how you had to open your food you had to put the can in there and it would go in there and right around the edge of it it would cut it off you know now everything is just all pull tabs and everything else so this i have no idea what it's for if i pull it open is it going to come apart on me i don't know but i'm not going to try i mean even these are super old little cabinet i mean you got some storage in there you know you can show the curtains for privacy that's still the original floor yeah i mean some of the old metal coat hanger So seeing tan on the inside like this, I don't know, maybe at one point early on in its life it was painted a different color or that's just how it was in the inside. I don't know. But they had the cardboard down here to kind of protect the floor because this floor is really, really old and these speakers are super old too. I mean, all these neat little cabinets, you can just store stuff in and Another speaker. 
that's like an air vent so I don't know what exactly that's for old school RCA CBs wow and then when you're plugged into your shore power you have your 110 outlet right there fire extinguisher you cannot stand up in this you can't there's no way but looking at the ceiling I mean you can see the original wood and these things were pretty good on gas too the can opener I still get a kick out of this and this somehow some way folds down into a bed somehow for your paper towels your air vent right here so if it got too hot I don't want to well there you go you can let your hot air out but this doesn't look that old I mean it's in really nice shape it's not some baked or nothing like that but whoever owned this really really took good care of it I mean yeah I mean the wood is a little icky but that could easily be replaced because you can see how thin it is so that could easily be replaced but it has all your your curtains you know i don't know if somebody put those in there or it came with it and then they have the one going across to keep privacy but this is just it's in a neat little van and a lot of people traveled in these way back when too you know all the the hippies and everything else so, and then somebody put a light up there. I don't think that's, you know, somebody else put that in there. But a van probably got to be on or plugged into shore power. But yeah, this is, I mean, it's just a neat little van. I get a kick out of this thing. I love it. So, but all right, guys, I'm going to end this one here for this van. I hope you guys love it. I love seeing it. As soon as I walked in, I had to look at it and I had to record it. Hopefully you guys like it too. Leave a comment down below if your parents ever had one or you know somebody who has one. You got good memories with it. Leave a good comment down below. I'd love to hear your stories. And please like, share, and subscribe. And you know, I'll see you guys on the next one.